It's homecoming week all week down to the circle and we're celebrating with a full circle trip down memory lane. Mm. We're going to talk a little bit about our favorite Ooh, collegiate doggy. experiences that can be shared on television. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> As most of mine cannot. You know, yes. there's <laughs> some things you just got to hold to your <laughs> chest. <laughs> it's to the grave. Like that one now time. Like that one time. Freshman year. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, every day I went to a cabin <laughs> party. Mm. <laughs> And you know, I was 18, and I had some old English 800. Oh, oh man. Malt liquor. My God, today. Uh, uh. A 40. A whole one? Yes, girl. That's very old school. Yes, it is. Then I went to the Kappa party and uh, just all wanted to resurface, you know, in front of all the noobs. Mm -hmm. My God, that's today. All, that's all good, but I ended up being a very upstanding young woman. <laughs> <laughs> that you see here today. Uh, you have to have those great experiences uh, to be who you are. Learn a lesson. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Learn too. Some music, though. That I just Jodeci Feenan was my freshman yeah, year. Yeah, the whole diary of a man. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Oh, my, the whole uh, thing. My, my heart belongs to you. And then, I'm going to take you all the way back. Intro. If you let yeah. me, let me go. Uh -huh. I'll teach you. I'll keep you satisfied. Yeah. Man. man. I was just being fast. It's well, fine. You were really? young. I you mean, you young. Know, come it was on. such a great time, but just mm -hmm. had an amazing time at FAMU. I mean, I could go on and on, but go ahead, ladies. I may have a little time on the end. Look at me. Look, I look disheveled in my life. Like you just came from the park. All right. And graduated. Right. Are we, gradu are we graduating today? Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Those are good times. Man, good times. Yeah. Yes. I remember when I was at school. That was the that was the first time I ever played spades. I was taught how to play spades. Uh -huh. Oh wow! Yes. Yes. We were always sitting on the dorm floor, and they were teaching me because it was like a big old pack of us. We were just all playing spades. So yes. it, was, it was a good time. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, I also had a, a situation freshman year. Uh oh. I went to a sigma party. Okay. And these frats. Well, you know, you're away from home the first time. You yes. got to cut a fool just a little bit. Right. Uh -huh. I had some Sigma Punch. Sigma Punch. Ooh, that influence. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Let me tell you something about it. Tawanda, because we, we were going to at the same time, we're only 15 months apart. Okay. We were both booed together. BSU. Uh -huh. So Tawanda <laughs> said, Trina, what are you doing? And she made me go back to my dorm. Oh, oh that's boring, Tawanda. You didn't have to, you didn't. Wow, you just drank the punch and then you had to go to sleep? Yeah, that's one made me go home. Oh, man, Back that's a door. horrible memory. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's well, okay. Well, you know, I, I, I went to uh, Drake University first and then Illinois State. Drake University, I had some memories, you know, it was really fun. We, you know, it was like five black people on the campus, you know, so we just all hung together and just had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> but then when I transferred down to the Illinois State is when things got popping, mm -hmm. okay? Because that was kind of like going back to Chicago. Right. Everybody from Chicago went to the Illinois State. It was all Chicago friends. I would have to say my favorite time was just being Greek. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Being Greek on college campus mm. was, I mean, I know I you know, Sean. I mean, yeah, it I is didn't. super fun being Greek. And speaking of homecoming week, we used to have um, a frat attack. And so, like, the, the, the female Greek organizations would all do the male organizations, yeah. and the Zetas would do the Qs really? and the Alphas. And I remember I was the lead of the, the Qs. Yeah. So I had to kick off, well, it's my hot team. Yeah. 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 That yeah. was very fun. Right. I'm sure. Um, so Greek life on, um, on campus was just all the things. Being fun. in step shows, leading step shows, you know, bringing uh, uh, the intake process was amazing. Um, um, but then, like, my music, uh, my music, Your and music. Rashawn's voice, <laughs> the Bodyguard soundtrack. Oh, that was oh my God. Yeah, it was, like, yes. so lit. Yes. And I sang I Will Always Love You Down to a talent show. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. And I had one for, for, the, for the parents uh, a weekend. Okay, got it. Down at the Drake. And so that was a very big moment, because yes. that was a moment, actually, that I realized that uh, R&B music was what I wanted to do, because yeah. I was tr being trained classically at the time. I was a music performance major, and I was like, you know what? This is what I want to do. Yeah. So the Body Guy soundtrack was lit, Tisha, and being Greek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, yeah. Was being I Greek or bring in pictures or something. Yeah. I was yeah. Miss Freshman, and I was a majorette. Well, hey. How you gonna miss that? How you gonna leave that out? 
Well, cause I'm doing, we have all week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It is homecoming yes. week, so that is fun. That, the week, yeah. yeah. It, just like you said, it was just an amazing time. Greek life was fun. I was just very involved. I got my taste of television there. Mm -hmm. You know, on the set was a show that I used to host locally in Tallahassee, and it was Snake Eyes. <laughs> and I was on the radio. I was DJ Ray Ray when I was on the radio on Monday nights from 8 to 11 on WAMF. No, yeah, and we didn't have no responsibilities really. Right. Still. So that was fun. We didn't have like bills and kids. Yeah. So that's fun. Right. I, I tell these Man. people, I was down in Tallahassee, I'm like, you better enjoy these four or five mm. years of your okay. life. Like, I can't wait, wait to graduate. Okay. Shoot. Okay. There's yeah. nothing but life on the other okay, side of that it. diploma. And yeah. it ain't friendly. Okay. <laughs> it ain't friendly. I mean, it's nice, but it ain't like that. Uh -oh. <laughs> Give you some Sigma punch. Give Sigma punch. Sigma punch. Oh, man, man. I'm not condoning that for underage. It's right. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, these are our college memories. So yes. we, you know, guys, talk to your parents and talk to your children about what we were talking and about. And so many right. lessons were learned in college. Yes. Oh, my God. What was your biggest lesson? My God, today, and I've been, I mean, in your words, my biggest lesson is, I think the, the, the best thing about attending, attending an HBCU is that you have such love and you have such understanding for all that is black. Mm -hmm. um, and having come from a middle class home, I was able to go and see how people experience life uh, who had more, who had less, and being able to really encompass all of that and know that that is who I am mm -hmm. at my core. Loving all types of black people from all walks of life yeah. gave me a better understanding of who I am as a woman today. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah. And I yeah. miss that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I miss that. Mm -hmm. I'm just now learning that now in my well, my late 30s and 40s, I just really kind of started coming into that now. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't go to an HBCU. I mean, there were a lot of black people at Illinois State, but it, it wasn't an HBCU. It's right. just not mm -hmm. the same. Right, right, right. Your greatest lesson. Real yeah. Quick. Ooh. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a lesson, but that was the only time in my life I ever lived by myself. Oh, mm, we can deep. talk about that on the full circle, y'all. Yeah, yeah, uh, let me tell you something. Situation. Because I, I didn't. I didn't get to live by myself. We'd love to hear your memories, so send us your stories at Sister Circle TV. But remember to keep it PG. I think yes. we <laughs> did that as well. Okay, I'm up next. I was like, mm, right on there.